Hey, what's up guys? I hope you're doing great. Welcome back to another video. So as spring fails to arrive here in Sweden, we are we are stuck in the garage. But let me do a quick update just to, to show you a couple of things that you might look forward to in the near future. We have Logan, another paint Q&A video. Just compare that to Pickle Rick. He is huge and he turned out so well. I am really looking forward to paint him. And straight up, I, I enjoy making those videos. For you guys that have been asking about more RC stuff, here is my latest project that I am I'm super excited about. It's a huge, massive 3D printed, 3D printed in different sections boat. It, just a huge RC boat. I'm thinking double engines, you know? That might be overkill, but nah, there's nothing such as too much power. 3D printed drone. I'm not leaving that subject. This is the same frame, the Peon 230 in PTG. And if you saw my latest video, I'm 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 rethinking PTG. Nylon for the win. I've been doing quite a bit of organizing. You can see Pelfier stuff, solar fans, just labeled everything. So I know where I have it. Okay, this next one I've been working on for five days, and I've I've had some problems. You can tell by the floor. But I think I got it all working. It's the mosaic palette. It's a it's a apparatus that lets you attach it to any 3D printer, such as the CR10, to be compatible with printing four filaments or like this, four colors. It does its magic and it lets you print with multicolor. This one unfortunately failed, uh, but I do have a better one. It's uh, it's a Pokemon Lapras, and this was printed in just one take. So it's unbelievable of what it can do and. I don't know what to tell you. The, the excitement is, the excitement doesn't stop. printed stencils. This is an idea that I had a long time ago. I never got around doing it and with all the youtubers dropping their merchandise right now I thought it would be cool making it your own like how many youtubers actually make their own Merchandise and sell I thought it would be pretty cool 3d printing straight onto fabric is one It's difficult Two, it doesn't hold in the washing machine and three it, 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 You can get it to look fairly good, but it, it's not perfect So what's so great about 3d printed stencils? They make this incredibly oddly satisfying sound. You can customize them however you would want to, size, pattern. You could assign certain colors to certain areas by just blocking out with some masking tape very easily. Printing time for a half decent size stencil is not more than one, two hours. Using spray paints or even oil based paints that will last a lot better in the washing machine. Will you be able to print a stencil thin and flexible enough for it to block any spray paint? And probably the most important thing, will we get sharp edges? Now let me show you how I made these stencils in uh, Fusion 360. This will be very much like when we 3D printed straight onto the t-shirt. Same process, there's really not much to it. And I'm using Adobe Illustrator. If you don't have that software, just go ahead and download the 30 day trial and go to file and open. So I will leave a bunch of links to pictures that you could use. I'm gonna pick this deer. Now all you have to do is click the image and you will see a bar appear that says image trace. Now click that and click expand. And now you can go to export and uh, export it as a SVG file for uh, the Fusion 360 CAD software to, to really recognize and make it easy for us to continue. What can we name this? Next up is Fusion 360. Go and uh, insert the SVG. Click the plane, click your uh, Rudolph 2.0. Doesn't have to be thicker than 0.4 millimeters. That's two layers. If you have really good bed leveling, you could probably get away with just the one, but but just cutting off the edges like that just saves a lot of time as well. I might even have to use the CR10 500 for this, but right now I'm rocking the Creality CR10 edge to edge on the build plate. So let's hope for the best and let's start printing. Hey, 
I'm really hoping this is gonna work. It, it looks perfect. Maybe the nozzle was a hair too close to the bed, but better that than having it the other way around. But this alone looks freaking awesome. Imagine it's on a t-shirt. We don't want paint in the back, so a sheet of foam goes in. Spray glue adhesive, $30. $30 a pop, but works good. A little longer than a few minutes later. I feel like a mil million bucks right now. This turned out so, I mean, just look at the lines of this. It's perfect. The lines are super sharp. It even managed the small details. I like the fact that it's not like pure white, but it's more of a silverish tone to it. I did also print a second t-shirt uh, design. It's, it's the same one, no? It's the same one, but with colors, but unfortunately it blends too much with the black. So you, it, the, the colors doesn't really, Enhanced too well. It doesn't look all that great. I mean, I, I would wear it any, any days of the week, but it, it doesn't. It doesn't pop like this one does. Okay, so now for the next one, I printed. Well, not this one. This one, I printed the world map. I printed this on the CR10 500. Huge 3D printer, 480 millimeters wide, so it's, it's pretty much as far as you can go and it covers the t-shirt beautifully, I think. And I tried to be a bit more artistic by blending the colors, mixing it. I mean, I think it looks great, but, but you might need a few practice runs for it to look world class. And this might literally be a painting I'm putting up on the wall. And I'm happy that you just have to print one of these and move around to different t-shirts because this one took around five hours to print. All right, last object for today is gonna be yin and yang fish edition. Tell me that doesn't look nice. Come on, tell me. You can't because it looks freaking awesome. I am really not a huge fan of tank tops. I feel a bit uncomfortable right now, but at least you can see that I'm bodybuilding. That's weird. I am actually shocked by how well that print turned out. Let me do some close-ups. Hey, that's it for today, guys. I really hope you found this video helpful and inspiring to make your own prints. I mean, it's fairly easy to do yourself. And please comment down below which one you like the most, the world map, Rudolph 2.0 or Yin and Yang Fish Edition. Let me know in the comments down below and uh, thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome day. Bye.